beautiful day here in Singapore. Warm, humid. I like it. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I like it. <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, that's not why I'm here, because I like the weather, although I do like the weather. And we'll be heading back to where we came from, which is Indonesia shortly. But uh, let me make things clear. We're not here to have fun. We're here to finish things off. And right now, there are numerous things happening that uh, shouldn't be happening, such as obstruction of, of my meeting with people and, uh, and the obstruction of being. It happens to be the people that are in between myself and people. From the past to the present, including Jan Yunus and, uh, and others. We have to be careful with what we're doing here. We have to be careful with what we're doing in relation to the accounts and the people we're working with. Because it's been made very clear now that Indonesia is open game by the cabal. By, I'm not actually by the cabal. They are cabal. But it's the UBS, the, the United Swiss Bank in Switzerland. They've opened up quietly thinking that they're going to slide and they're going to be able to literally steal the gold that belongs to the global accounts, that belongs to uh, the Indonesian bunkers, Indonesian this or that. I mean, they are, they're not hiding, but they're not blatant, blatantly revealing it. The people that are involved in gold know that the offerings are on the table. And uh, we're going to change that around real quickly when I get back. And we're going to save Indonesia from being insult not only insulted, but abused. We're not going to allow Indonesia to participate in those games that the others have participated in. We'll protect them. I protected them for how many years now? We'll protect them to the end. We're near the end. We are at the end. This is a, a, a maybe a last second attempt, a last minute attempt in, uh, to, to confiscate the gold that doesn't belong to them. They have many documents in their in their files in uh, UBS in Zurich, and many of those documents relate to uh, transactions between Indonesia or, or, or the Indonesian elders and UBS, which. Indonesia has been shortchanged. Sukarno Trust is a good example. And the bottom line is UBS. I'm making this clear to you now. If I find this thing continuing in the middle of the week, I'm coming after you legally. I'm coming after you every which way and every manner possible. I'm coming after you personally and I'm gonna come after you corporately. I am going to blow you to the moon when I am done with the documentation that I have. Beginning with the, with the documentation with, with that my friend Eddie Sino at one time held and, and mandated to me. That's the documentation that finances the Malaysian banks that you not only circumvented him in, you never paid him a dime, maybe the first two or three months from what I understand, and after that you stopped giving him whatever commission he had. And then at the end of the agreement itself, the time, you, you stripped them without his knowledge of participating in the agreement and continue to finance the Malaysian banks. I have those banks, I have those agreements, and I'm the one in charge. I have many other documents and many other things, but I believe that my friend Eddie deserves something somewhere, and I'm going to make sure he gets it. And now that he's passed, okay, someone gets it. I'll get it for him. Otherwise, I'm coming after you for the gold, which you have no control over, you have no business over. And the BIS, I've got documentation on that gold. I'm going to tell you right now, if that gold changes whatsoever, I'll take you out of the picture as well. I'm going to take you out eventually. I may as well take you out now. And the same goes for the IMF. Yeah, you too, Christine, you too. I gave you a little toodaloo when you were in uh, when you were in Valley, didn't I? 
but you kept walking across in your beautiful three, four thousand dollar suit. I had my Tommy Bahama shirt on and my shorts, and I was having a ball watching that. Yeah, you knew me. <laughs> I know, you're a little too loo. <laughs> I'm gonna take your ass out before you even get a chance to be in charge of the central bank, European Central Bank. I'm gonna take you all out if I want, and I can. I can. All of you. There'll be no European Commission, European Central Bank. There'll be nothing European. It'll go back to their rightful holders, which happen to be the patriots themselves or the nations themselves. Oh, by the way, we can do this in the United States, too. I have the documents for that, too. You're going to have a big, bad fight with your big mouths in Switzerland. Let's get back to that. I'm going to nail you. I'm going to nail you. Now, let's talk about the beautiful weather. Man, it's nice out here, huh? We win this battle, and after we win this battle, a lot of you are going to be invited to, to run around this part of the world and see how just just see and see how wonderful it is. We will have a plane pick you up if we can. You will have such a time. You will see what I see, and it's so beautiful. And Singapore is gorgeous, but then again, Indonesia is second to none. People look at the poor parts of Indonesia, which need help need humanitarian packages, which we're going to provide for Indonesia and other countries as well. This is a, a little hotel I'm staying in right now to do this. No reason to go to a bigger hotel because they're all packed for some reason. I think it's a Formula, what was it called? Formula 7? Formula 1. Formula 1 race car just placed here. Uh, I didn't get to see it. They would have probably hit me with the car going at 400 miles an hour. It would have probably dented the fender. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I don't see there being much more to talk about. I just want you to know we're here. It's getting done. Uh, I need to finish up what I have to finish up. And I have to make sure that Indonesia is protected no matter what happens. And that's my plan. And then I can start moving and I can start moving people aside, and then I can start kicking them in the ass on their way out, and then I can start doing the things I have to do, which not only protects Indonesia, but protects the planet. I hope the World Bank, and I hope the Vatican, I hope every damned one of them is ready for me, because I'm coming soon. And, you know, I'm not coming like Santa Claus. I'm coming sooner. Maybe, maybe I'll come with the turkey, I don't know. And, uh, the Thanksgiving turkey, maybe? We'll see how I do it, but it's going to be done right. It's going to be done with the right people, and it's going to be clean. And I'll be waiting for you to come get me, if that's what you're doing, because I'm coming to get you, too. I'm coming to get you, too. I know who you are. I have a list of your names. I've got your pictures. I've got addresses, home addresses. I've got corporate addresses. I've got everything. I know when you go to the toilet how many times a day. And don't question me as to whether I do or not. You see how many pictures I put out there of people making illegal deals in back rooms. Check your toilets. You might find out that you've got a, a bug in there. If you're not careful, you may end up with the disease, that special bug disease. Hydrophobia up the bug hole. You may all end up with that. Thanks to Group K. <laughs> and his associates and his associates. Geez, my guys are back there saying, yeah, throw my name out there. Yeah, I might, I might before this is done, but uh, they're too eager to fight you guys, so I, I might not do that. Let's just say goodbye for now. It's almost over. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? I, that's not, that's not for root fighting either when I say can you smell it, because damn, you, I'd have to leave this area if that's what it was. I'd have to, I'd have to run. <laughs> that boy, that, that boy can stick out an elevator. <laughs> he sure can. Yeah, he can. I mean, in an elevator with eight people, he drops a silent one, and man, I don't know where you run to, but you run. You run. You probably run to, to Washington to hide with Dean Chamber. 
Because that's why he's not here, because he's afraid of Farouk and his bombs. <laughs> uh, wishing you all well, everybody. You're all giving me a big, big, big hand, great help. And I appreciate it. And like I said, not much left. It's, it's, it's showtime. It's showtime. And we're gonna kick some ass. Whether we do it physically, we do it mentally, we do it spiritually. By the way, in the spiritual realm, we've already won this battle up above. They're just waiting for us to finish it up down here. Just so you know, we've won. And we don't really need the Calvary call, but I might put it in front of this or with the preface anyway. Da, 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 Charge! And that's what we're going to do, and you're going to see a bunch of old men with their fat, saggy asses running up the street, and us, me with Sicano's power stick, sticking them in the ass. That's what I'm going to do. And then you can have them when I'm done knocking them. Then they're yours. Do what you want with them, I don't care. And yes, if I'm embarrassing them, who cares? They're not even American. They're not even European. Who the hell knows what they are? <sighs> Dean, did you say that? Shapeshifter. They're shapeshifters? No, no. Don't tell me that. Don't get me going on that baloney, huh? I had a little bit of fun. I can't do this without having fun. And look how pretty it is over there. Look at the buildings. See, isn't that nice? I wonder why it's a financial mecca. No wonder why. No wonder though, those rooms upstairs, they have, they have some assets that belong to the market. I'm sure. Did I tell you I like this place? <laughs> Drake said it right. Everybody's saying Drake didn't say it right. Drake said it right. It could be done. This is how fast it could be done. He didn't say it was going to be done. This could be done by the end of the week. I'm talking about the paperwork and everything. And the bunker could be open soon. Drake's not far away. Maybe Drake has some vision that others don't have. But in this case, he has a vision. And he has a feeling. So let's say this time, he's right on the book. But I'm not gonna tell you when because I don't know. So it's close. I'm gonna tell you as it's close. They chase our security out of here. That's how bad they wanted me to be without security. They chase him right out. He's okay now, he's back in Ireland. He, he says he's never coming back because you can't hit what you can't see. This is a very spiritual place. Now I'll let you go. It's over with. It's over with. My, my guy's hand uh, over here, uh, Nisham's hands are shaking. And uh, he's saying, Jesus, Neil, this three pound camera is just too heavy. And he lifts weights every day, imagine. <laughs> so he's got his Hawaii hat on, trying to, trying to top the, the atmosphere. <laughs> you guys take care. Miss you. I've been here. Time for next step. Get it over with. Drake's thing, get it done. That, that's old now. That's old now, Drake. Don't say it anymore. Gotta get it over with. It might take a little time because of the paperwork, but I think the paperwork is going to be handled. I think everyone's going to be ready. Take care, and God help Indonesia. It's, it's saving the assets, their assets, which the cabal will be after very soon. Goodbye for now.